Hello, I'm Naoya from Japan. Uh, I'm studying MA Poverty and Development at IDS at the University of Sussex. So here I want to talk about my experience of being a, a Rotary Scholar in the UK. So I would like to talk about three things here. Firstly, I want to talk about what, what I've enjoyed, about how I experienced the situation here, pandemic, and how I overcame the situation. And lastly, I want to talk about how I learn about myself and then how I, what I want to do in the future. So, okay, for the first one, I enjoy a lot of things in the UK, actually. Um, for example, I have visited a lot of places such as London, Scotland, uh, Wales, and Manchester, and then also um, Oxford and then Cambridge. And then especially in Wales, I had the most ex beautiful experience in my life, uh, which was the sky full of stars. And then also I really enjoy making new friends from all over the world. Um, and then the, having conversation with them. Uh, the conversation with them always gave me a new perspectives and then insights. And also it was really interesting to know, to learn about uh, their situation of their country and then their cultures. And then moreover, I was really happy to talk with uh, people from Japan as well. Uh, they came to the UK to study uh, with really high aspiration and then and the conversation was really motivating for me all the time. Especially when I was trying to get a job, they always uh, gave me uh, advice and it was really helpful. However, it wasn't only uh, easy things. It was, there are a lot of tough things uh, here in the UK. I experienced a lot of challenges to adjust to life here, especially during the lockdown in winter. Uh, in winter, the weather wasn't that good. And then also I couldn't go to the gym, which is a uh, kind of big thing for me. And it affects a lot to my mental. And then also we had a lot of um, assignments. So to overcome the situation, I focused mainly two things. First thing was uh, stop being perfectionist. Try, I tried to stop being you know perfect on everything. And then I prioritize everything, which, and I, the top priority was my assignments at that time. So I focus only that thing. And then also I tried to um, uh, talk as many as people possible. I call my mom, my family, my friends in Japan. And then also I tried to talk with my flatmate and that relieves my stress, stress. And then I realized that looking back, experience in the winter during the lockdown was really, um, beneficial for me. I know now how to manage my motivation, how to uh, manage my mental, cope with my stress. Yeah, so it was a really good experience. And then lastly, I want to talk about what I want to do in the future and then what I learned, what I realized about myself. Um, uh, looking back, actually, to be honest, this year has made me realize that I still don't have a clear vision in my future, clear dream. However, uh, I still have the uh, motivation and desire to contribute in some way to improve people's, uh, people with disability, their lives. I still want to focus on that field in the future and I still want to support them somehow in the future. And also in the process of job hunting, I became more interesting in the social business. So as a result of my job hunting, I uh, received the offer from PwC Japan and then I'm gonna work in Japan uh, at PwC from next year April. So next my goal, next my step will be uh, learning and then experiencing the business and then think about how, can, how I can apply those experience uh, in the future to support people with disability, not only in Japan and in the world too. And yeah, that's all.